Uh, Dr. Miller, um, veteran suicide prevention continues to be my number one priority. I think that is true of a lot of people on this committee. Uh, I believe that the issue is more complex than just viewing it from a clinical perspective. There are other root causes of suicide we need to be looking at, such as food insecurity, lack of housing, and financial strain. That's why Senator Tester and I teamed up to introduce the Not Just a Number Act, which would allow us to study this issue from a holistic standpoint in order to better understand why veterans are taking their life. Dr. Miller, do you think that it would be helpful to move the Suicide Prevention Office from VHA to the enterprise level at VA to allow for better communication and data sharing between VHA and VBA? Thank you, and uh, happy to answer this question and also uh, want to express appreciation from the perspective of the suicide prevention team for your advocacy for veteran suicide prevention. Um, what I think that you've done through this bill is you've demonstrated the importance, as you uh, stated, of including important information and data within the analysis of veteran suicide. You have also further, I think, highlighted that that's gonna require a deeper and broader level of cooperation and collaboration between VBA, VHA, NCA, and other federal agencies as well as states. 100% agree with you on that level. You then bring that into a conclusion in section five saying, is suicide prevention organizationally placed well to implement sections two and three in the manner that we're outlining here and we believe uh, need to move? We think it's a fair question. We think it's a good question. And therefore, we 100% support the feasibility and advisability analysis that you've requested. Very good. Uh, Dr. LaPaz, you mentioned in your testimony a rare event with no single cause, which leads me to believe that you would agree that there is no single cause to suicide. Then there. I'm sorry, it, what I'm saying is, you know, it, it, is that there is no single cause to suicide, then there is no single solution as well. You go on to state in your testimony that the analysis required by this bill would only identify correlations and not causations. Wouldn't you agree that understanding the correlation between the VBA programs that prevent veterans from taking their lives is a good thing to know? Senator, I will defer to our expert, Dr. Miller, to respond to that question. Thanks, appreciate the question. And the answer to the question is yes. Uh, it's important to study uh, VBA-based uh, efforts as well as VHA efforts and efforts that go into our community-based interventions program. Do what we can to validly uh, study relationships between them and move the field and the VA uh, closer to understanding what works, what doesn't work as well, and what's worth investing in from a program perspective. So uh, again, that's exactly what we'd like to do in, in this bill with Senator Tester. Our intent is to identify the programs that are working in order to better resource them and identify the programs that do not work so that we can modify them and uh, be more supportive of veterans in need. So, so are we on the same page? We're 100% on the same page, sir. I think uh, our 
the spirit of that particular feedback was not to indicate we are on a different page with you on this. It was more to indicate there are some complexities with relationships and we'll move together with you to explore those. Good. Thank you. Thank you all for all of your hard work. We appreciate you.